Hey, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Welcome to Kids Stay Home. Hello, welcome to Kids Stay Home. I'm Wendy and today I'm going to share with you how to create an elephant mask. Now everybody, this is Coco. Now Coco is made of uh, many large cardboards and uh, egg trays over here. Uh, you will need a lot of uh, large cardboards for the ears and the trunk. But today we are going to make a baby elephant which I'm going to introduce you, Coco Jr. This is Coco Jr. Can you tell the difference? Uh, it's very similar to Coco. It's just that the face uh, and the eyes over here are different. Uh, these are just plain cardboards, whereas Coco is filled with egg trays. Now for Coco Jr, first we will make the crown and for those who have watched Project 1, it's the same exact crown as Ruben's. Then we will make the face, then the trunk, the ears and lastly the eyes. For the crown, first we will need to cut a long strip like this. Um, the width is about 5 to 6 cm. So I'm just going to cut it uh, using my pen knife. Be careful when you use a pen knife. Once you're done with the strip, just put it around your forehead and measure to a comfortable size and glue it down like this. Now we are done with the first part of the crown. Uh, next, we will need a shorter strip, uh, which is about half of the length of this. You're just going to measure around and put it uh, under your head. This is to support uh, the heavy mass above you. So as I mentioned, the crown is the same as Ruben's, so we'll need another two strip like this. The length is about 28 cm, width is 6 to 7 cm, and we're just going to attach this uh, at the side uh, to build this thing like that. Once this is done, uh, we will need another strip like this to secure the horns down and then leave some space like about 5 to 6 cm so that you can make a tap like this. Now we are ready to make the elephant face. Now to make the face of the elephant, uh, we are going to draw this shape. Um, it's very similar to like a tooth shape. Um, it's very easy to do. So what we're going to do here is to draw a straight line here and this is about 30 cm. And then right down to 13 cm in the middle, I'm going to draw another horizontal line over here to make a cross. And then from here to here, about 10 cm down here, I'm going to draw another straight line which is about 24 cm. And then we're just going to combine the lines all together. Once you're happy with the face, use a pen knife or scissors to cut it out. Don't worry whether is it symmetrical or whether it's straight here or there. Uh, you can always trim uh, as you cut. For the elephant trunk, we will need a long cardboard like this. The length is about 56 cm and the weave here is 18. Uh, it's wider from the top and it gets narrower towards the bottom. And we're going to freehand draw this. So I'm going to show you. And once you're happy with it, just cut it out with a pen knife or scissors. When we have the trunk, we're going to bring the face out and we're going to attach the trunk to the face like this and then make sure that the weave over here is able to go through uh, the arc here and then we are going to glue this area down like this. We have the trunk and the face attached together and we are going to bring the crown out and with this tab, we're going to attach to the back of the face um, like this. And once you glue this down, we are ready to make the ears. For the ears, you will need two cardboards like this. Uh, Coco's ears is about 56 cm in length and 35 cm in width. There's no right size for the ears. It really depends on how big you want it to be. Just that the bigger it is, uh, the mask will be heavier. So what I did here was I freehand drew uh, the ears out. And to make an identical piece, just uh, cut it out flip it over and trace it to another cardboard. 
Now we have a pair of ears and we are going to glue them at the back of the face like this. This way. Like that. The elephant is almost done. Uh, what I like to do here is to uh, bend the ear so that it's not so stiff. And then I will usually tear some of the cardboard out uh, to give a little bit more uh, texture. Uh, or you can uh, paint it as well. After tearing some pieces of the cardboards here, uh, this part of the year is more interesting compared to the other one which is more plain. So it's really up to you how you want to design it. Next, we are going to do the pair of eyes. Now, this eyes is made of um, two oval shapes and this is a bigger one and this is a smaller piece over here. So I'm going to put cocoa aside. For the eyes, I usually keep a lot of leftovers, uh, cardboards uh, inside this uh, Ziloc bag uh, so that I don't waste them. So I'm going to take like four circles over here and I'm just going to cut an over, an over shape out of the circle. So with this pair of eyes, we are going to glue them down at the side like this. We are done with the eyes. Um, this is the leftover from cutting the eyes, so you can use this as eyelids. So it's gonna look like that. Before we finish off with the mask, uh, for the trunk, uh, to make it 3D and fuller, you can actually use strip like this and wrap it around it and glue it down. You will need a few strip uh, to complete the trunk. Uh, but for today, we're just going to leave it as it is. Now a new baby elephant is born. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to upload your creation online and hashtag KidsStayHome. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Three Pumpkins, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. See you. Bye. Hey kids, if you are inspired by today's video and decide to make something, anything, share it with us with the hashtag 3pumpkins and stand a chance to be featured in our next video. See you next time. Bye!